Now this uh, question 6, it is very straightforward question based on a result. It is based on one dimensional elastic collision and that to the case when the colliding bodies have same mass. So in this kind of collision when the bodies, colliding bodies have same mass, then velocities are interchanged. Here they say that two identical balls A and B having velocities of 0.5 meter per second and minus 0.3 meter per second respectively collide elastically in one dimension. So velocities will be interchanged after collision. Now the velocities of B and A, mind you, this is the kind of thing, not A and B, rather B and A, after the collision respectively will be. So if you uh, write down the answer of A and B, it will be interchanged. That means minus 0.3 and 0.5. But they are asking you to calculate B and A so that you make mistakes. You see that. So answer will be simply 0.5 and minus 0.3. So this is the second option you will be marking. Which result I have used? I have used the result that if the masses are identical, then in one dimensional elastic collision, their velocities are interchanged after collision. So answer 2 will be the correct option for uh, this question number 6 I am marking. Now let us switch over to next question that is question 7. Now this uh, question is based on the concept of work, work due to a constant force you can say. You have been given displacement, you have been given driven, you have been given force, you have to calculate the dot product of that and work will be calculated. This is the question. A particle moves from a point minus 2i plus 5j this is the initial position to 4j plus 3k. This is in some other plane. Mind you, here i and j is there and there j and k is there. When a force 4i plus 3j Newton has been given. So how much work is done? So first you have to calculate the displacement. So for displacement, final position vector minus initial position vector you will have to do. This is 4j cap plus 3k cap minus this minus 2i cap plus 5j cap will have to be done. So you will see that uh, i cap is not here. So 0 minus minus 2i. So that will become 2i cap. 4j minus uh, 5j that makes it minus j cap and 3k minus 0. So that makes it 3k cap. So I am assuming this is in meter. So this is the displacement. You understand? This is you have calculated and force vector has been given as 4i plus 3j Newton, 4i cap plus 3j cap Newton. Now you know that uh, work done is uh, f dot s, so you have to calculate the dot product. i cap will be multiplied to i cap, that is 4 to the 8 and uh, j cap to j cap, this is plus 3 minus 1, this is minus 3, k cap is absent, so that is 0, uh, this is equal to 5 joule. So for that matter, I will be marking answer 3, this is 5 joule, answer will be third option, third option will be the correct option for question 7. Now let us switch over to question 8. 